Yeah, it was painful. It was painful. During the race, it, it, it was even hard to talk about it. The bad things developed more, like you know, all the losses and all the you know this like sensitive stuff toughens you, and you know you you learn like how to cope with it and how to deal with it. Even though the disappointment is massive and it's tough, you work so hard for it. The mood stayed good, you know. I think uh, yeah, the team has just grown tremendously. You can just see the camaraderie is still, I think, is even bigger than it has been before. Because everybody is having so much trust with each other, we can just talk to each other and just, even like the youngsters, they can come to me, they can speak to me. The barriers are all gone, so in that sense, I think that's perfect for the team. Everyone ready? Yeah. This team has like IQ, sailing skills, experience. There's um, uh, stuff that's not going so well, and of course they're disappointed. But the resilience and the mental toughness is, uh, is high, and you can see and feel that. Yeah, Louis is, of course, uh, still Louis. As a sailor, he's fantastic. He's, he's a natural, he's fast, and he just keeps developing. Uh, he was already a very good sailor, and uh, where he's growing mostly is his confidence. Damn, it's dangerous here. He can take responsibility on, he can as well face other people and, uh, and be more, come up for himself. He's not a kid anymore, he starts to become a man. We gained a lot of self-confidence on the boat, I think. It's actually, it's quite a difficult process about communicating and speaking up on the boat because you have all these really strong personalities on the boat and strong characters. I'm always thinking, okay, if I speak up, I have to be 100% sure of the stuff that I say. Yeah, people talking that I changed a bit, and probably I did. You know, maybe my English got better. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a different level where I've been and where I am now. He didn't have that much experience in in this kind of boats, and he improved uh, a lot. I think the biggest difference is that he's uh, he's more outspoken. I think uh, as a person, he has grown uh, tremendously, and he can reflect as well what his feelings are, what he thinks, what he can do to make the boat go faster. He probably has a career after, uh, after sailing because I think he's really like a natural guy in front of the cameras. This is Rokas Milevicius from the bow for Team Brunel TV. This team looks like a very positive team and it is. Um, they like to work together, uh, they like to joke around. No worries. Oh, we're having lots of fun. If you don't have fun, this is the most horrible thing that you can do in your life, going on an ocean race. It's been a really good ride so far. You get better, you get older, you get wiser. I think that the day that you stop developing is the day you retire. I'm learning uh, not only sailing, I'm learning also uh, life.